so this is going to be a real quick video. Um, this is going to be a request, and I forgot who asked for it. Um, I'll try to find it. I looked on my um, messages and I can't find it. I don't know if like it magically disappeared. But it's going to be on what my hair care regimen is. Okay, so um, if you don't know, I'm um, into trying to grow my hair long, mid-back, um, healthy. Um, so um, there's certain things that I do to try to obtain that. So uh, first is uh, washing and conditioning. Um, I try to do that at least once, maybe twice a week. Um, I only use shampoo usually once a month um, and I conditioner wash all the other times. What is that? Conditioner wash means I wash my hair with conditioner only instead of shampoo because shampoo is very stripping to the hair and it dries it out. So, um, you know, it's not like I'm out doing construction so my hair doesn't get like really dirty. If it does get dirty, like if I go camping or something and I'm, I'm around a lot of dirt or something, then I will use shampoo. It's not like I only can use it once a month. Um, but yeah, the rest of the time I use conditioner and do conditioner washes. Sometimes I do it more than twice a week. It just um, depends on how I'm feeling. Sometimes I do it every day. Um, when I stretch my relaxer out a bit longer, sometimes I'll do it every day and just put it in a bun. What I use for co-washes and um, I love and the shampoo I use, well, first off, let me tell you, I'm a product junkie, so I have so many. It would take me forever to do a video on all the stuff that I use, um, but I try to rotate things that I use. So I'll tell you what I'm using now. Um, so I use Aussie Moist in the shampoo and also the conditioner. Um, and I co-wash with that and it, it's great for the hair. Um, also I love Aussie Deep Conditioner 3 Minute Miracle. And these are all cheapy products so I really like them a lot. As far as deep conditioning, I try to do that also at least once a week, deep condition. Um, and that just, you know, helps with your hair's moisture. Um, and what I usually deep condition with, well, I have a whole bunch of different ones, but my favorite is the Organic Root Stimulator Olive Oil. Love it. And uh, if you see my deep condition video, I'll put a link. Um, I use this with olive oil and some honey and um, a little bit of porosity control, which is this. And I put that on and sit under the dryer or just walk around for a while with it on my head for like an hour or all day, whatever. Depends on if I'm being lazy. And that just helps the moisture balance. <clears throat> then when I wash my hair or after I deep condition my hair, I use the, Ker the Apogee Keratin Green Tea Reconstructurizer. And it just helps with the protein balance and keeps your hair um, strong. I also do protein, a light protein treatment, uh, probably once a month. And I, that's the Apogee 2 Minute um, Protein. And that's in my shower and I don't feel like getting it right now. Sorry. But yeah, so I use that once a month and that's for the protein to keep your hair nice and strong. Um, so yeah, after I um, get out of the shower, I use that. Then, um, I usually use a spray leave-in conditioner first, um, after that, and sometimes I'll use the Dove Moisture Therapy, or, I don't know where it is, somewhere in my bathroom, but there's an Aussie Hair Insurance Spray Leave-In, and that one I love too, um, but I'll put one of those in first, spray that in. Then it depends on what I'm doing. If I'm going to do a roller set or um, blow dry, then I don't want that much product on my hair. So I would just put like some Chi Silk Infusion or um, uh, maybe a little bit of the Herbal Essence Leave-In and then a heat protectant. If I'm going to leave my hair um, like a wet look or if I'm going to blow dry, or not blow dry, I'm sorry, but if I'm going to like wet bun or air dry, then I will add the Herbal Essence Long Term Relationship Leave-In and then I will let that be for like, you know, until my hair is about 80% dry. Then I'll go back and put more of this, but then I'll also add coconut oil to seal it. But I don't like to put oil in my hair until it's already like pretty much dry because to me it just, I don't know, it gets too filmy or whatever. 
Um, another one that I love to use as a moisturizer and it's already an oil is the um, Organic Root Stimulator Olive Oil. And you only need a, like, a, a finger amount of this and then just rub it in. And it, I love this stuff. It works so good. But I, or so well, I only work it into my hair when my hair is dry though. I don't like it on wet hair again. Um, and always, always, if I'm going to use heat, which I try not to use very often, maybe, I'm trying to go for like maybe once, maybe twice a month, I'll use heat. Um, always use a heat protector. Always. And this is the IC hair polisher. Get it at Walgreens for like six bucks. Last a while. Um, I also use hair serums, uh, bio silk, um, hair serums. Um, I have some uh, Paul Mitchell serum, some frizz free serum. I just got, I have a bunch. And if I do use a serum, I try to use those on wet hair. Um, as for, I do use uh, growth aid sometimes once, usually when I'm about like, I don't know, like five, six weeks post, I'll start. Because I, like, you know, I don't want to do it when I have a fresh relaxer. But I use Megatech. And so funny, this is for horses' hair for to, like, make their mane shiny and grow long and everything. But on human hair, it actually does work to grow hair. I, I mean, it works for me. And it smells good, too. It's like a pina colada coconut smell. And it's really light. And um, what I do is I put it in this little apogee bottle that I had. And I just put it in here and I mixed it with just a little bit of jojoba oil. Or jojoba oil. And I put it in this bottle because it has the nozzle applicator. And all I do is I'll just take it and go through my hair and just put it all in rows all the way down. And uh, then I'll just like massage it into my hair. And massage it into your scalp and then it's gone. There's no, it's not like filmy or anything. It does have protein in it. And some people say they've had shedding with it. But I haven't really paid attention to it so I don't know but I haven't noticed you know any shedding that I think is extra so um, I, yeah I know some people don't use growth aids but I mean how they work I mean for some people some people use biotin um, there's like a drink that people have been drinking um, there's monostat um, which is my conical which is for yeast, but whatever. I've used it. I've used it, and it really, really does work. Um, I've got some in my drawer, so I kind of alternate. I haven't used it in a while, but when I first started on my hair journey, I used it, and it made my hair grow like wildfire, wild fire. And so I don't know why I stopped using it. I think because I just jumped on this bandwagon. You gotta be careful which bandwagons you jump on. You don't need to jump on all of them, but I mean, when I was trying to grow my hair, I was like, I jumped in really gung ho. I've kind of slowed down um, on the products that I buy. Um, I also, what do I do at night? I tie my hair up. This is just a scarf and it's a satin scarf that I got from, uh, I think from Walmart. And it's stretchy and I love this thing. This is my bestest friend. I have other scarves but I just really like this one. It always, it fits well. and. It depends on what I'm going to do. If, like with my ponytail, my fake ponytail, I'll take this off at night and um, I might spritz it a little bit and then I'll just pin curl this, my bang, and then I'll just throw this on and call it a night. Um, if I want a straight style, I will wrap it, tie it down. If I'm leaving it air dry, I'll usually just put it back.